Hi, I'm Jon from the Regular Grapevine. It's uh, 5.30 on uh, December the 19th. We're here halfway between the Blue Lagoon and the latest volcanic eruption in Iceland. The 20 hour old eruption. It started erupting around 10.30 uh, last night after a couple of hours of a swarm of earthquakes. And this eruption is, uh, by orders of magnitude, much bigger than the last eruptions in the last almost three years. Uh, just in the first few hours, it spewed out uh, twice the volume of lava that the last eruption by Little Ruther managed to pour out in a few weeks. And an official opened soon after the eruption started that uh, as it was about four kilometers long and the lava erupted on the whole fissure line. Which was roughly from around there, which is about two kilometers east of uh, the Blue Lagoon. And uh, the fissure line went from about the direction of north uh, east down to southwest towards the town of Grindavik and stopped about two and a half kilometers north of Grindavik, thankfully. Uh, like I said, it's it's much bigger than the previous ones, and it's in a volcanic fissure area that the volcanologists were hoping would not erupt because it's badly located in terms of infrastructure. However, the fissure that opened did open in an area that is fairly devoid of infrastructure, and so far the lava stream is not likely to reach the town of Grindavik nor the Blue Lagoon. Uh, funny enough, uh, yesterday the authorities here, the police chief, uh, was talking about perhaps allowing the residents of Grindavik to go back to that town before Christmas, uh, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen now. And also the Blue Lagoon had been open for two days, but it's been now closed again for obvious reasons. Uh, the, uh, the eruption has dwindled down significantly since midnight and it's only at about the quarter of the original uh, strength that it was at around midnight and you know the volcanologists are not sure what's gonna happen it's I guess it's uh, like it's anybody's guess really and we'll just keep following that obviously uh, the area is closed down. We're here because we're press and uh, nobody's being let in. While we were actually waiting to be let here in, uh, uh, a few people pulled up next to the barricades who looked to be tourists who were not aware of the fact that the road was closed nor that an er eruption was actually happening. I hope they found some, else pla uh, some other place to go to. But yeah, there's... Uh, well, it's 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 pretty. Uh, we we just cut back from the the fissure, which is over there. We hiked over there with our search and rescue, and it's pretty impressive. And like I said, it's much bigger than the previous ones, and uh, it kind of it gives you sort of yeah. It's it this doesn't get old somehow. It's pretty overwhelming, uh, and I don't know why I'm going into this, but uh, as you may know that. Uh, what we know about Norse mythology uh, comes from a, a 13th century book written by uh, an Icelander called Snorri Sturluson. And one would think that Norse mythology, uh, originating from the mainland of Scandinavia, would be completely devoid of references to volcanoes and, and such things. And the Icelandic sagas actually don't have a lot of that in them. But in the Norse mythology by Snorri Sturluson, uh, where he's describing the, the god of volcanic eruptions who wields a massive sword of flames. And it's easy to sort of imagine that that sort of imagery comes from looking at something similar, like a long fissure. It looks like somebody struck the earth with something, well, not blunt anyway. But yeah, uh, this has been a trip. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Jon from the Regular Grapevine and 
and holding the camera with a steady hand has been our picnic. Take care and follow, go to regular Grapevine. <laughs> there is www.grapevine.rs for uh, more frequent updates on the eruption and other things happening in Iceland. We'll be trying to keep up with this as it happens and to bring you updates here on the YouTube channel. Take care.